Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Irix Marie Bidalanot and this is Irix TV. For today's card naman, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gamitin ang Mendeley software and paano mag-plug in ng Mendeley sa iyong Microsoft Word. So, let's go! remake or redo of Sir Edwina's Prime video, you can visit his channel and don't forget to subscribe. So first, i-define muna natin kung ano nga ba ang Mendeley. So Mendeley is hindi la ordinary software application but it will help you in research. So Mendeley is a reference manager and academic social network. So dito, sa paggamit ng Mendeley, Makakapag-access ka sa research articles online and also it helps you to create bibliographies automatically. So, mas convenient siya kung or instead sa pag-manual mo na paggawa ng bibliographies. And also, aside of this, makakapag-collaborate ka rin sa ibang researchers online. So, ngayon, tutor ko ngayon kung paano mag-download ng Mendeley. So, let's watch this till the end. So, punta tayo sa process of downloading Mendeley. So, ngayon, punta ka sa Google Chrome or other browsers. And then, search nyo lang www.mendeley.com. Here, i-click nyo lang yung download. Pindutin nyo lang to kung ang inyong operating system is Windows. And meron ding option kung pang Mac or Linux. So, i-click lang natin. Intay lang natin na ma-complete download. So, ito, kom uh, kompleto na siya. And then, i-click nyo lang yung downloaded. Here, mag-install na tayo. Right-click. And then, click mo open. So, agree. Next. So, nag uh, para ka lang nag-download or nag-install ng ordinary software. Kapag na-install na natin itong application, mag-sign in tayo using our accounts. Click lang natin sign in. And then, hintayin lang natin. So, ito na ang ating Mendeley desktop. So, ito yung appearance ng ating Mendeley desktop. Dito yung mga tab na File, Edit, View, Tools, and Help. So, dito i-click lang natin itong Tools. And then, Install MS Word Plugin. I-click mo lang yan. I-click natin yung parang band paper sa may bandang baba ng file. And then, dadaling ka sa yung file manager. Here, ito yung aking 10 downloaded articles. I-click all lang natin, and then open. Lalabas dito sa right side yung information or yung details ng ating download articles. So, here dito yung abstract, tags, authors, URL, catalog IDs. Ayan, lahat lamabas sa bandang right side. So, here, nag-generate automatically yung ating bibliographies with regards to the downloaded journal articles or research articles. And then, i-open natin siya sa MS Word. So, ito yung example journal natin. So, here yung references. Yung results and discussion part. Puzzle sa references. Open in Mendeley. Or insert citation. 
So here go to Mendeley. Hanapin natin yung article and then citation. Here, lalabas itong format na American Psychological. So here, o pwedeng IEEE, pero here for research, mas gamitin natin yung American Psychological Association. Here, click natin, uh, mag-type tayo ng references. Insert bibliography. Here, automatic na nag-generate yung ating bibliography. And, mas convenient ito kaysa mag-mano-mano or manual kang mag-type ng references sa yung research. Some journals are complete and some are not. So here, i-edit natin yung journal. Yung details niya. Edit natin yung year. Yeah, uh, here, 2001. Can make it to 2020. Issue or volume. Volume 4. So here, we need to type it manually to satisfy or to complete the details of this article. And then save, save it. And wait it to 100% to upload or to be updated the details. Here, balik tayo sa ating Microsoft Word and then here nakita natin na nag-update yung information sa ating reference. So, nagbago yung year of publication naging 2020. So, here kapag hindi gumana yung ginawa natin pag edit i-click lang natin yung refresh dun sa bandang taas sa may references to be updated our references. Here, refresh natin. So, here nagbago yung ating information or yung details na ating in-update sa Mendeley. Here for the another example, we update the year 2020 and the volume to volume 30 and then save this. 
So, balik tayo sa reference natin sa Microsoft Word. Here, 2008 pa rin siya. And then, hindi nagbago yung volume number. So, i-click natin yung refresh. And here, nagain 2020 na year of publication. And then, nag-update ang ating details. So, i-apply lang natin itong manual editing to comply or satisfy the... So, ngayon, punta naman tayo sa advantages of Mendeley. So, una dito is sa references. Mas madaling mag-insert ng references unlike kapag nag-type ko or nagmano-mano ka sa paglalagay ng references. So, uh, it saves times at hindi time-consuming. So, mas convenient siya. The second step is automatically na nag-generate ng bibliography ang ating Mendeley na inalagay mo sa ating Microsoft Word. Pangatlo, pwede mo mabago yung citation format from IEE to APA or APA to IEE at iba pang citation format. So, pang-apat, kapag meron ka na existing na references, ka pwede ka pang mag-add ng iba pang references automatically in a convenient way. So, here, napaka-helpful talaga ng Mendeley sa ating paggagawa ng research and then, mas nakaka-save ng time and effort. So, and uh, ito na yung ating video. So, thank you for watching!